Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to LandscapeToday.net, weekly U.S. weather outlook. I'm day weather meteorologist Don Day. Well, as we leave February and head into March, it's going to be a busy month weather-wise, thanks in part to a strong El Nino. And usually we're into the time of year now where these strong El Ninos can really have a bigger impact on our weather. And these are the things we're watching. First of all, rain returns to the West Coast, especially California. Big news it's going to be in the headlines in the coming weeks of heavy rains returning to the West Coast. We'll talk more about that in detail. Wet weather also will return to the desert southwest, the southern plains, as well as the central and southern Rockies in the week ahead and beyond. Winter weather continues for the Great Lakes and Northeast with more snow and ice and cold weather coming this week and into the weekend. Let's take a look at the current jet stream chart. We see high pressure building along the West Coast today and then dipping south into the nation's midsection. We are going to be looking at this area of low pressure here, intensifying then moving up the Ohio Valley across the southern Great Lakes into New England. We're likely going to see some pretty good snows. Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, along the lee of the Great Lakes into the northwest areas of Pennsylvania, then eventually the northeastern states here later in the week. Well, generally fair weather continues for a little bit longer here in the West, but that's going to be changing. When we look ahead into next week, look at the change. We see high pressure in the West right now going to low pressure along the West Coast. Very strong and persistent jet stream winds in the Pacific will be developing by next Monday. This will lead to a warm up here, warmer temperatures for the East and Southeast, while colder wet weather moves into the west. What we're going to see is a very strong southerly jet stream, which is typical for this time of year developing. It's going to develop here and stay here into the first two to three weeks of March. This will be driving rain, snow into the mountains of the west coast, and unsettled weather that will move east in the western high plains and Rockies, but also the desert southwest and the southern plains area here are going to be getting it wet as well. When we look at the forecasted precipitation for the next week, we can see the stormy weather bringing the areas of rain and snow to this portion of the United States. We're looking at the rain increasing along the West Coast. Now, most of this begins this weekend. For the week ahead, the next several days, a lot of this precipitation really not amounting to much. So this is more reflective of what's coming this weekend and early next week. And speaking of that, let's take a look at the 15-day accumulated forecast of precipitation through the next two weeks. You can see all of this orange area here along the California coast up to Washington and Oregon. This area of orange right here highlights between 5 to 10 inches of possible rainfall in the next two weeks. Notice the yellow, the yellow in the Sierras, in the mountains of Northern California. This is in excess of possibly 15 inches of moisture. So we're talking about a big change back to wet weather for California. February was a disappointing month for the West Coast. El Nino only produced a couple of storms, but March is going to be a different story. Also notice the wet weather developing here in portions of the Southern Plains. This is an area here where we're expecting the possibility of severe weather in the coming weeks as well. And that's something to watch for. Thanks for tuning in to LandscapeToday.net. Any comments or questions, email me at don at dayweather.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.